before talking anything about crime reporting, I would like to tell you, it's definitely not going to be for anybody, not just me. For anybody, crime reporting is not that easy. It's a strenuous, stressful, and challenging. Of course, it is challenging. And I'll tell you why this is so. The other day I finished my work, I'm now, I'm 57, and another three years I'll be retiring. So irrespective of your age and you know your physical limitation, you have to keep tracking everything that is happening around. You no, know, if you supposingly if you are stationed at Hyderabad, say let us somebody stationed at Chennai, Bhuneshwar, whichever be the place you are working, you will have to keep track of everything that is happening related to crime. So the other day, last night I finished off my a uh, uh, couple of stories by 9:30, 10, came home. By 10, had dinner. Somehow, around midnight, uh, I woke up uh, just to have water. When I check, whenever I get up, you know, I keep checking my mobile phone. So there was this news of uh, Chopadandi MLA, Medipali Satyam's wife, committing suicide. So normally, supposingly, if it is something, say, let us say, CBI restring a case on leakage of question papers, and I would have ignored. Though Chopadandi is a far off place from Hyderabad, it is connected to Telangana and all said and done, the victim, I won't say victim, that woman is the wife of ruling party assembly, it assume, automatically it assumes importance. So when I call up my office, uh, Ram almost uh, I have passed out the pages, so there is no space and all. I said, if there is no space, first we'll tweet that and we'll I'll try to file a couple of paragraphs. Though, so we put the pages on hold and you know I filed three four paragraphs as, and the biggest problem in crime reporting is after the advent of this WhatsApp anything everything is becoming a news and people are definitely one advantage with WhatsApp is you know you get much quicker information than when we started uh, reporting say let us say two decades back. I'll tell you how gathering information used to be <coughs> some uh, earlier and I'll, I'll compare it with, for your idea sake, I'll compare it with the present situation. This information also, this alert also, I got through WhatsApp only. So one of my <coughs> crime reporters, batch friends, he sent me a message. But the biggest challenge is, especially in crime reporting, is who, who will confirm, I can say, should I say, Chopadandi MLA's wife was founded or how can I get it confirmed that, you know, it's a suicide? Automatically, you have to, you know, talk to the concerned police officer. <coughs> Obviously, if he is sleeping, you have to wake him up and find out the details. So I rang up a couple of officers. Since I have already some connection with the politicians also, I checked up. They said, yes, it's true, Ram. So, but uh, see. Supposingly, if it is a uh, regular type of suicide, I would have just filed a couple of paragraphs and went back to sleep. But because this man is the first time MLA, the two from ruling party, whenever a suicide case is reported, my experience, because of my experience, supposingly if it is, you know, the woman is the, you know, <coughs> family member of a, some VIP or some celebrity or whoever, um, person with some sort of a reputation. The moment you say say suicide, automatically first question would be why would they commit suicide? What could be the possible reasons? Next point would be that. So after filing, by the time I finished that uh, report, it was 12.45.1. Because I was told uh, uh, the woman was shifted to a hospital near Kompel. I live in Alwal. I can't drive car, you know, at that time, so I if I start the driving car, it would take much longer time <coughs> to find the parking space and also I started in a two-wheeler, went to that hospital, it was already two till three, three thirty. By the time <coughs> all electronic media reporters were there. We checked with the facts, updated the report. So since I was talking to other police officers, it was already six o'clock in the morning. Came back around seven uh, home since Satish insisted that you know. In fact, I was f feeling very sleepy and I, th I thought I would uh, sleep for some time in the vehicle and come for this class. Or, you know. So that is how life is going to be. 
in my <coughs> it's not only for me anybody everybody so situation will be the same so if a student or you know any youngster wants to take up crime reporting you need to have that patience you should be ready to face these irregular happenings developments and still able to manage uh, to report and you know first gather the information ascertain the facts and uh, report it now uh, coming back to you know my days of uh, initial stages when let us say this is my 20 as you that introduction 25 years ago that's not correct right? this is my 23rd year of reporting right so normally also where do you think uh, you know any criminal you know, if uh, any one of you can just uh, answer the question where do you think any crime reporter for the matter a tv reporter or newspaper where do they get information basic information from about crime right police department is obviously one source otherwise where will you get uh, you you just try to imagine the, that way it will be you know you, huh? right right of course going to the spot that is you know fundamental as you said right find correct live witnesses right see in this system whether it is i don't know about adra as far as our country is concerned as far as telangana is concerned whenever any criminal case is reported especially body re related offenses supposingly somebody dies if this mls wife has committed suicide it is a medical legal case once a death is reported anything suspicious happens automatically by default going by the law a post mortem has to be conducted so all bodies involved are connected to any offense any medical legal cases will be sent to the mortuary mortuary <laughs> used i mean you might not find you know this interesting but it is the mortuary where we used to get first hand information in of any initial stages of case whether it is a road accident anything like this suicide or suspicious death obviously murder or anything also everybody will be sent to mortuary depending on supposing if it happens in northern part of the city uh, bodies will be sent to gandhi hospital mortuary southern part obviously usmane general hospital unless nowadays you know uh, reporters are not going to mortuary but i still feel that is the place where you get first hand information and clear cut legally valid data will be get supposingly in a road accident what is the vehicle involved in the crime first information report when the, the police uh, when the body is brought police have to give a requisition to the forensic department of that particular uh, hospital they will conduct the autopsy when you conduct the autopsy supposingly let us take the example of uh, this case of mls uh, wife committing suicide <coughs> whether it is a suicide or if there is any foul play the first information first person knowing would be the forensic doctor not even the police officer so my, as a crime reporter for me it is the forensic doctor who is the first source of information having authentic details and which can be validated in the court of law also as an individual as an individual uh, crime reporter i trust more than the police officers i trust, trust forensic doctor because unless that forensic doctor is corrupt or something you know but basically proper flow of information will start from mortuary and the uh, forensic doctor who does you must be knowing i don't know if your kids said the time of that pratyusha's uh, death have you heard of that film actor pratyusha so that is one example of uh, where forensic doctors autopsy played a major role so supposing if there was any foul play in this mls wife case also you know how uh, I'll, i'll tell you uh, uh, how a post mortem is also conducted where the reason of conducting the post mortem is whether the death is natural or you know somebody murdered them say for example in suicide cases uh, sometimes you know in, uh, criminal uh, mind people they strangle a person or throttle a person and try to make it look like a suicide 
you strangulate a person to death or you throttle somebody to death, you know, once that person dies, you'll <coughs> hang him to the ceiling fire or say, to the <coughs> ceiling. Lot of cases have been reported like that. How does a forensic doctor know whether it is a strangulation? Or <coughs> for an ordinary person like me, strangulation or throttling or, you know, hanging a, a person by himself doesn't, uh, you know, look like what are the evidences forensic doctor will be getting when he does the postmortem. They'll be opening the body from here like this. They'll cut open this uh, head and they'll be opening the body from here. The moment he opens the throat, forensic doctor, I'm telling you. So if there is a strangulation, the blood veins going down from the neck to here to the lungs, the moment you strangulate somebody, the veins, you know, get strangulated. Blood flow will be affected. So there will be definite stains and darkened marks on the veins. So there are a lot of techniques uh, forensic doctors follow, and at the same time, they'll t uh, take the viscera, supposedly if any poison or if viscera, when viscera is sent to chemical test, they'll <coughs> ascertain if somebody was poisoned to death, what type of like, uh, likely poison was this. All these details will come from <coughs> forensic uh, report. So forensic uh, doctors and mortuary will be the first source of information. So automatically, as you said, second thing, most important thing I would say is, these days, you know, including me, most of the reporters have stopped going to the spot. See, what happens is, uh, these days everything is, you know, because of WhatsApp, or Twitter, or digital media, social media accounts. What I hear from Satish, I'll immediately tweet it. There is no system of verifying what information is originating from where it is originating, how far it is true. There people are going wrong. You know, most of the time ending up in different situations. So I would say any crime report, for example, there is a road accident case. For example, I'll tell you, uh, four or five years back, that Kunda got to place some 150 uh, RTC bus. RTC bus fell off uh, from a hill while coming down. It fell off from the hill, <coughs> fell into a garage, and almost 42 people died there. That is one of the biggest uh, number of victims in Telangana state. <coughs> Probably that is the case where maximum number of people died. I might uh, write a lot of things talking to the local police based on the statements of the local police. I might talk to the victims over phone. All are primary sources of information only, but until I go and physically see as to what exactly has happened, I'll not be able to report properly. All this hearsay evidence, Stories, reports based on, you know, conversations over phone and all will not be of much use. When I went there, there was, you know, even confusion for me. So what happened is that man, that day the bus was, uh, bus passengers uh, seats were there are around 42 or 50. The bus was loaded with some 72 passengers. While coming down, you know, somehow those brakes failed. So instead of pressing the brakes, while pressing the brakes, he uh, pressed the accelerator also. It went and fell into the. <coughs> the strange uh, finding in that case was out of those 40, 50 people died, 10 to 20 persons didn't even have any major injuries. Normally, when the bus falls into a garage, People, <coughs> you know, their limbs are broken, their heads are uh, broken, spinal cords are broken. 10 to 20 people had no injuries at all. Automatically, my question to the doctor was, how did it happen? Police were immediately not able to answer that question. So I went there and I spoke to the doctors. I'm telling you the version of the doctors. What they said was, because the bus was completely packed, the moment it fell into the guards, <coughs> the moment it fell into the guards, there was something like a suffocation within the bus. The moment it fell, all those people fell on one another. So because of suffocation, those 20, 30 people died. And 
there none of them had any injuries so supposingly if the police or any politician comes and says you won't believe that you will think that you know there could be some other reason since i have gone to the spot and i verified with the doctors and all i was able to assert the injury so that's why i would say going to the crime scene or spot whether it is a road accident any murder case or anything even major uh, property offenses in one of those cases where a jewelry shop uh, <coughs> uh, somewhere in panjagutta if i am not wrong uh, that was based on uh, video evidence so another major uh, source of and the uh, for a crime reporter will be developing rapport with people who matter supposingly unless don't never ever think that you know the moment you join an organization and go and tell them that you know i am a reporter from so nobody gives you information it is a situation of mutual trust and you go and talk to the police officers or who is ever is connected to administration of criminal justice system you keep on talk to them only when they start believing you trusting you then they will part with the information i'll, I'll tell you one example <laughs> julius that mine of the gang rape case you must have noticed what happened that day you know we also young crime reporters were recruited in my office so they were all d1 that day so i was casually checking i was casually checking the previous day newspapers and that day newspapers also around 9 o'clock i found one news item in chronicle saying that you know a girl was molested police are verifying into banjarels police so i said why verification into molestation case molestation case is a molestation case. why there need needs to be a separate verification so i rang up the concerned police officer he said no no i'll, I'll talk to you later around 9:30 10 pm again i rang him he said there seems to be some different evidence which is taking to you know the leads suggest that it is going to be more than a molestation case so you know, automatically i got out again 11 o'clock i that man was a assistant commissioner of police was not uh, willing to part with the real details then i rang up the next level officer he said ram don't report this i know okay <laughs> forget about report what exactly has happened ram it looks like uh, it looks like a case of gang rape i said uh, i mean why are you saying it look like so he explained the situation the father of the girl came and met the dcp and the girl was you know be, uh, behaving in a you know she was dull she looked depressed when her father reassured and started uh, counseling her and asked her she said uh, when uh, two days back when i went to that pub this is what has happened but uh, a girl would not you see she would have spoken openly with her mother but when a male police officer in front of a male police officer it would be difficult for any victim in such cases uh, to you know part with information immediately the dcp engaged a couple of women police officers took her to that barossa center assured her you know <clears throat> they counseled her for consecutive two days five hours six hours session they said don't worry about this thing you are you know your name will not be revealed you tell us what exactly has happened that's how that information came you must be you must have seen subsequently the arrest and all that information so i insisted with that uh, senior officer till midnight to give me the facts all this happens only when you have that rapport with the officer i told i that day i convinced the officer sir this is a big uh, case if you don't reveal if you don't want the news to be published today even 3 4 days later also there is no you know go for you except uh, again revealing this to me anyway it will be known to the public so this is another way of uh, you know gathering information and because of this social media and you are getting information and details from lots of sources right the biggest challenge in the present days earlier uh, earlier you know supposingly if there is a road accident or any murder or theft uh, normally people would not have misled us, us or given false or misleading information 
earlier it, there was no reason for anybody these days because of social media anybody everybody is you know disseminating posting details without verifying facts so now the biggest challenge is when somebody says a major road accident well, how many people died well, obviously the, when you you are connecting this acha i'll tell you this telephone tapping case was there in this particular case where panjagutta police have registered a case about telephone tapping nothing of that sort film industry personals uh, telephones mobile phones being tapped or hack nothing of that sort happened let us assume that you know telephone mobile phones of important persons opposition leaders or bureaucrats top officials have been tapped how do you think the tapping must have taken place yeah okay pegasus is one option right there are several social media anchors uh, reporters even including newspapers have written saying that you know they have imported some equipment <laughs> from israel which can be you know stuffed into a suitcase they have kept the suitcase uh, near revant reddy somewhere within the vicinity of revant reddy's house or the place close to the person's uh, house where whose phone they want to tap nothing of that has sort of has happened i am not saying that the telephones cannot be tapped using equipment in this particular case what has happened is there is in telegraphic act there is an option if supposingly any persons involved in terror cases or you know indulging in activities against the state are right so uh, are causing serious damage to the administrative system they phones can be tapped so how that can be done supposingly if we are using you are i'm using um, airtel service you are using bsnl so <coughs> what uh, under the existing laws what they can do is they'll write to the service providers supposingly i'm using airtel phone they'll write to the airtel service provider asking for the details of my mobile phone its location and record the conversations of my whatever i am speaking through my mobile phone those conversation will be recorded this is normally done to track you know persons uh, involved connected to terror cases or left wing extremism case small voice naxal these cases in this case what some police have officers have done is of course at the behest of their political executives and this there is a uh, procedure laid down by law as to how to tap the phones it is the home secretary or dgp of a state they will write to the union home secretary or joint secretary that level officer saying that you know in these cases we want permission to tap so and so person's mobile phone they'll give numbers or the names of the persons here what they have done is they have used this author authorized system of tapping legal tapping and misused the names and numbers supposingly they wanted to tap my phone in that letter they have mentioned my name and numbers saying that you know this man is this num particular number is suspected to be involved in some case. they didn't mention terror related case or like so it is more or less a case of unauthorized tapping tapping can be done legally but in this particular case they have tapped the mobile phones of phones of persons whom they wanted to target using the lacuna in the system and nothing of the sort of bringing equipment from israel or any other place which is shown in movies and learn nothing of that sort has happened my point here is by saying that you know telephone uh, telugu film industry personals phones were tapping everybody is misleading misleading and you know a little bit confusing the people that is what is happening most of the time in crime reporting here i am not saying you know all the reports that that are coming or appearing in the newspapers and tvs are wrong the problem here is nobody is ready to go and study what exactly or how the system is functioning if you know how phones can be tapped only in, achha, i wanted to tell you 
there are a couple of open ended uh, source uh, artificial intelligence uh, tools one is atlas there is another name i'll, I'll tell you I forgot the name the governments have used those open ended source tools that is openly available in the market they purchase that software those tools and supposingly my satish mobile phone is there the obviously what we do when we have uh, social media accounts say twitter facebook or whatsapp most of, most of the time we will uh, give our mobile number so that you know we get information and others this particular tool of atlas of course based out of israel they have developed the tool software in such a fashion that uh, supposingly if i feed you a mobile number into that atlas software it will pick up all the data across the world wherever that mobile phone is used whether it is for social media say you posted something on facebook that information will that software will pick up that data supposingly from which part of the globe you have posted supposingly you are moving somewhere from abits when you posted something or tweeted something on that particular time this tweet where did it originate from from how it was you know posted through that internet protocol details so a person who is gathering information through this software at last will have a complete profile of your movements then they will say oh satish uh, is in touch with mariramu he has invited all these details they have used these uh, softwares which the government has bought legally and use but nothing of this uh, uh, issues like uh, government or police officer buying those equipments and doing that so most of the time in sensational cases more than the factual or you know internal intricacies of the detail just like that people are you know bombarding journalists are bombarding in you know, people with uh, misleading information that is what i find it's unethical see basically i am a person who thinks like this even our mobile phones have been are being tapped that i know but I, unless i am doing something illegal see gathering information getting in touch with people talking to a cross section of persons as a journalist is you know my job it's my need and necessity if somebody you know starts following or tracking my uh, telephone call data record actually it is unethical definitely it's unethical and that is the biggest issue i don't know whether you have noticed this uh, privacy you must be knowing now when you search for say some mobile uh, say for what type of a pen you want or some furniture the moment next time you open the web page or you know your jewel and all those ads relating to that keep popping up on your screen you know why how does that happen this google company will sell off that information what ramu has searched for so they do, they would not be knowing it is ramu but from here if it's some i am searching from here this internet connection ip protocol internet protocol number will be picked up by google so they will sell that data to others actually it's a definitely invasion of privacy only in european countries in other uh, western world they started challenging on europea europe they have very strict rules regarding sale of this uh, data of browsing of uh, citizens they don't allow that here our all our mobile number data what we are searching what we are everything that we browse through mobile phones computers or different web pages every detail is being sold out otherwise all the uh, this data will not appear in the dark web it's definitely unethical but in india we haven't you know started questioning this on a big scale it's still going on it's unethical it's illegal also but you know that's how things are now i'll tell you it's like this as far as disha encounter case is concerned no innocent persons have been picked up first point supposingly if innocent persons are picked up we will not keep quiet because of going by our experience there are i am at the same time i am saying there are no instances of police picking up wrong persons and implicating them in false cases such things have happened for sure i may not be having proof for all the cases those things have happened 
and that has happened in terror module related cases that has happened in left wing extremism related cases you take the example of uh, azad encounter you know, are many of those uh, naxalite or maoist encounters not all the encounters are you know i mean go i am telling you this going by my experience but legally state is in such a powerful position that you know when it does certain things to <coughs> maintain law and order or to want to you know show its authority they have the recourse to different methods there things have uh, there are instances where things have gone wrong in those areas but in disha encounter case a couple of mistakes could be <laughs> police could have manipulated i am saying could have i am not saying manipulated because two of them are were about 18 years there was a controversy whether they are adults or they were still minors barring that in these days of technology and so much awareness of people if they pick up wrong person and the question is how far that in any encounter <coughs> the legality of the encounter is the question see for example and, and please remember that we are saying that it's an encounter police cleverly say governments say it's an exchange of fire you know what is the version of the police police say when they have they have arrested those people taken into judicial custody from judicial custody they have taken into police custody police claim that they have taken the accused to the crime spot to reconstruct how they committed the crime in that process police claim those accused snatched their firearms and started firing on them you know how you know, you, you can understand what how to what extent that could be uh, there is there could be truth in that so when they started firing on us we uh, <coughs> try to uh, first defend ourselves then we also open up and that's how they got killed that is the version of the police but they haven't why would they supposingly if they even they pick up why pick up only those persons data is there in the uh, different organizations have filed public interest litigation in the court also and the courts in telangana high court chief justice has given a wonderful order saying that you know if you collect the mobile phones of all the police persons connected to that case analyze their phone locations where when they commit that encounter has taken place or exchange of fire has taken place ensure where exactly is that person's mobile phone is located at that point of time you and all those details but uh, police are too clever on that i don't think they'll go wrong in any way now i'll, I'll tell you another story you must have noticed uh, punjab if you remember punjab terror related cases uh, that time i still remember there was one police officer called govindram so govindram is a you know an aggressive police officer when gomindram he was actually of maharashtra he is an ips officer he is of maharashtra cadre but uh, they brought him to punjab because he is a tough officer uh, rebero was uh, dgp so rebero sir said don't bring that gomindram he'll make things more violent because of his aggressive but so he started uh, doing those encounters and all punjab terrorist kalistan sir issued a statement that if you continue this policing will ensure you know will straight away they said will kill you they shot dead his son he was dhg at that time after his son was shot dead he still continued the same style entire that govindram was dhg the entire dhg office was blown up he was killed in that incident so that point of time government took a stand and you know they decided that you know if some section of people be terrorists or anybody are going left right center with violent means we will also go for an approach like eye for an eye that's how they tackled punjab issue and here also when left wing extremism was on its, at its peak some police officers governments have taken a decision to fight it in their own fashion i would not go beyond as for a journalist without talking without evidence is not correct for me so 
this is but uh, in Disha and encounter case they haven't picked up any wrong person I mean there was no reason for the police to pick up only those person implicate them in a false but I don't agree the system with the system of killing people see if you are doing that it should happen in every case why only in Disha and there was another woman in Adilabad, Asifabad uh, district, she's a tribal woman. She was uh, she went into the forest to pick up firewood. All four persons, I can't even tell you. I mean, they raped her, they broke her head, they broke her hands. It was terrible, terrible murder. You know, in that case, nothing has happened. You know, no action like this was taken. So there was an argument. Some people have raised. Because uh, she belongs to some Dalit community or downtrodden community, you haven't acted the way you have responded in Disha case. So these issues are there. I would not go, that will become, you know, something like a discussion platform. I would not go into, but these are the issues. These issues are there. But as a journalist, you know, we have to take a neutral part. You know, you are, you are not supposed to talk on the side of the police or you are not talk to on the side of, completely on the side of them. See, we should report what what are the facts there? I'll, I'll report that. But that is the job. Uh, that is why I say it's a tough. I'm telling you, you no, know, it is the rapo. And first, we should develop an understanding of, you know, 20 years back, all that mattered was your relationship with the people. The uh, the uh, the way you talk to the people, one pan tela person or you know one cycle repair by a bicycle mechanic or a bus conductor or an attender at the mortuary would have given you wonderful tips about uh, what is the crime happening these days you know uh, because of uh, latest technology and all that human relations uh, related approach has is missing and most of it has disappeared also for anything and every pe thing people are depending on you know whatsapp and other things to gather information. I would uh, not suggest that. So coming to your point of how to gather information, but you have to be friendly with them to some extent. Otherwise, you won't get information. Yeah. And first, we have to develop that inclination as to what exactly is the truth. That is the point. Suicide case, murder case, Forensic dantle. I'll tell you an example of this uh, Venugopal Reddy suicide during the Telangana agitation. In the Tagore auditorium, I don't know whether you have heard about the case. Telangana agitation was at its peak. Nako Gurtunanta Varaku, Usmania University was the nerve center. And Chala coverage was so much. But in the end, there is Telangana agitation Tagipe in the Anta. It's it's a decline, it's on the decline. There could not be further any moment for whatever reason. I don't know. Kuntamanda youngsters who suicide is quotum. Mali agitation pick up what I mean. That day somebody Europe Chipner morning uh body durkin and I by the time I came here only a handful of people were here. Tagura to them the Body shift yes, body shift yes. By the time I reached body shift, that's uh, supposed to be suicide note. Burnt suicide note was there. Uh, Rai me the Pakakila Baduna, Rai me the Kuncham Petrol Avi Markalone, a burnt paper pieces go down, Kuncham a gaddi clave. Meanwhile, I still remember, I don't want to take the names of the police officers. Ram murder yeshi suicide yes set lopuntam Ram Chalonia. Ilopata as the news was spreading, students started coming from all places within a matter of half an hour, Motam inter Tagar in a crime scene should mono. Thousands of students were there. Crime scene agitation was going, people were raising slogans and all. In Jusasari police brought in brought those sniffer dogs. I said, why sniffer dog? There was one uh, officer. I don't want to reveal his name. If you notice, 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 forensic team. Forensic team, okay. Suicide case, forensic team. I don't know. Malli. 
లేదు లేదు మా డర్ చేసి సూసైడ్ చేస్తే ఊరుకుంటాము అదే సో ద పోలీస్ కమిషనర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ టైమ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ఐ కాంట్ టాక్ ఇట్ ఆన్ రికార్డ్ అప్పుడున్న ఆఫీసర్ ఒక వేరే దేర్ వాజ్ అనదర్ ప్రెస్ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ యు విల్ హియర్ బ్రేకింగ్ డీటెయిల్స్ అబౌట్ దిస్ వేణుగోపాల్ రెడ్డి సూచన్ హీ వెంట్ ఆన్ రికార్డ్ అంటే సంథింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ హ్యాస్ హ్యాప్ అండ్ యూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఆల్ థింకింగ్ ఇట్స్ అ సూసైడ్ ఇట్స్ కెనాట్ బి అ సూసైడ్ అని సో చేసినారు నాకు ఒకవేళ అది మర్డర్ అని తెలుసు బహుశా తెలంగాణ వచ్చేసిన అక్కడికి ఆగిపోతుండే అసలు దట్ వాజ్ మై ఫీలింగ్ అగైన్ ఐ స్టార్టెడ్ గోయింగ్ టాకింగ్ టు దోస్ ఫోరెన్సిక్ డాక్టర్స్ దేశే రామగారు మీరు వేరే ఏ కేసు అని ఈ కేసు గురించి మాట్లాడద్దు గవర్నమెంట్ నుంచి స్ట్రిక్ట్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఒక్కసారి అడిగిన రెండు సార్లు అడిగిన ఐ వెంట్ టు ఉస్మానియా మార్చి దే వాజ్ నాట్ రెడీ ఏం జరుగుతుంది ఏంది అని చెప్తుంటే ఐ స్పోక్ టు అనదర్ రిటైర్డ్ ఫోరెన్సిక్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ రామ్ లాజిక్ ఈజ్ సింపుల్ అక్కడ ఏంది సపోజ్ యు మర్డర్ అ పర్సన్ అండ్ బర్న్ ద బాడీ ద మేజర్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఎవిడెన్స్ విల్ బీ వెన్ యూ ఓపెన్ అప్ ద బాడీ వైల్ కండక్టింగ్ పోస్ట్మార్టం దేర్ విల్ బీ దోస్ సూట్ పార్టికల్స్ ఇన్ ద లంగ్ సపోజింగ్లీ ఇఫ్ ద మ్యాన్ కమిటెడ్ సూసైడ్ ఇఫ్ ద మ్యాన్ కమిట్స్ సూసైడ్ బై బర్నింగ్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ వెన్ ద ఫ్లేమ్స్ గోప్ హీల్ స్టిల్ బీ బ్రీతింగ్ నో దోస్ డ్యూ వైల్ బ్రీతింగ్ హీ విల్ బీ ఇన్ఫెలింగ్ ఇన్హేలింగ్ దోస్ స్మోక్ ఆల్సో ఆటోమేటికలీ దోస్ స్మోక్ పార్టికల్స్ విల్ గెట్ స్టోర్డ్ ఇన్ ద లంగ్స్ వెన్ యూ ఓపెన్ ద బాడీ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఆర్ సూట్ పార్టికల్స్ హీ కమిటెడ్ సూచ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఆర్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ యూ మర్డర్ అ పర్సన్ హీ డైస్ అండ్ యూ వెన్ యూ బర్న్ ద బాడీ దెర్ ఇస్ నో క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ డెడ్ మ్యాన్ బ్రీతింగ్ సో యూ వోంట్ ఫైండ్ సూట్ పార్టికల్స్ ద ఓన్లీ అనదర్ పాసిబిలిటీ ఈజ్ సూట్ పార్టికల్స్ స్టిల్ యూ కెన్ ఫైండ్ ఇన్ సైడ్ ద బాడీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ కంప్లీట్ బర్నింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద బాడీ బట్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో పాసిబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ దోస్ సూట్ పార్టికల్స్ స్మోక్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఇన్ టు హిజ్ లంగ్ వైల్ బ్రీతింగ్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో అదర్ పాసిబిలిటీ సో ఇన్ వేణుగోపాల్ రెడ్డిస్ కేస్ సూట్ పార్టికల్స్ వర్ ఫౌండ్ వీ రోట్ రిపోర్ట్ విత్ దట్ వన్ అచ్చా ద బిగ్గెస్ట్ ఛాలెంజ్ వాజ్ దట్ సూసైడ్ నోట్ ఆ సూసైడ్ నోట్ రాసిన తర్వాత నాకు పరిచిన పేపర్ కాలిపోయింది పాటలీ ఇట్ గాట్ బర్న్ అండ్ దెర్ వర్ సమ్ రెయిన్ డ్రాప్స్ అండ్ బహుశా నేను అనుకోవటం నైట్ చేసుకుంటే ప్రొద్దున చూసిన కాబట్టి వింటర్ ఆ డ్రాప్స్ తోటి ఆ అక్షరాలు అలుక్కుపోయినాయి అన్నట్టు దట్ ఇంక్ గాట్ స్టేన్ అండ్ నో నో సంబడి కిల్ హిమ్ రోడ్ దట్ సూసైడ్ నోట్ దట్ సూసైడ్ నోట్ వాజ్ సెంట్ ట్వైస్ టు టూ డిఫరెంట్ హ్యాండ్ రైటింగ్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్స్ ఓ ద వండర్ఫుల్ అనాలిసిస్ వాట్ మీన్స్ హౌ ద టిక్ మార్క్ హిజ్ అండ్ హౌ హీ రోడ్ ద సర్కిల్స్ హీ దే కంపేర్డ్ విత్ హిజ్ రెగ్యులర్ నోట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దెన్ ఇట్ టర్న్ అవుట్ టు బి అ కేస్ ఆఫ్ సూసైడ్ ఫర్ దిస్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఐ నీడ్ టు డూ యాజ్ అ క్రైమ్ రిపోర్టర్ ఐ నీడ్ టు డూ సమ్ హోమ్ వర్క్ యాజ్ టు హౌ వెన్ ద వెన్ ద డూ అ పోస్ట్ మార్టమ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద పాయింట్స్ ఇన్ ఫర్ విచ్ ద ఇన్వెస్టిగేటర్స్ విల్ బీ లుకింగ్ టు డిసైడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ బర్డర్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ సూసైడ్ you need to develop that idea otherwise you know i'll be like any other regular reporter oh, there are a lot of challenging cases boss ante okati first thing endante crime reporting lo unte koncham manam endante we need to be mentally tough be prepared for threats ab adike manam ipudu vaade vado bedriste manam bhay padi paare payata neta matram we can't do crime report i assure you there will be threats ad definitely when you write the fact automatically ab bedrinchatam chestaru so ipudu naal anto ni bedristhe emo sa manam ikkadi usmane nos lo padu utti perino ante ela ganavadu ivadi threat chestha manam ikkada you have to cross that stage of you know uh, getting worried about your life avi that part will be there for any crime not just for me obviously when you write facts and that to in a crime poli you there could be a th- threat from the police officer there could be a threat there was this case of uh, that mohan reddy assistant sub inspector in karimnagar district asi mohan reddy you know how many things are happening in this world we talk about law courts police officers systems and all mohan reddy joined police department as a constable Uh, during that uh, anti naxalite movement he participated in some operation he was given out of way out of seniority promotion he became head constable and assistant sub inspector like him there are several police officers in telangana district because of naxal movement they got quicker promotion and people you know because of the naxal movement fear and all police had lot of opportunity in the system to make money 
police officers and other businessmen will give say 1 lakh to 10 lakhs to Mohan Reddy for an interest of 1% to 2%. If you give 1 lakh rupees, Mohan Reddy will give you 2,000 rupees per month. They are happy with that. Supposing if a police officer earns 10 lakhs, he'll give it to Mohan Reddy. Mohan Reddy will give 20,000. Happily, while doing your job, while getting your salary, you'll get 20,000 rupees additional income for it. Mohan Reddy in turn will lend that money to people who are in business or other. He'll collect 5% to 10% interest on that. Yeah, of course, different rates of person. So, how without any mortgaging or without any action, just like that, if he gives 10 lakhs to somebody, if that fellow comes and says that, you know, I don't have the capacity to repay, he'll lose his money. What Mohan Reddy used to do is, do you have a house? Do you have any other physical property, gold, mostly real estate property, open plot, land, agriculture land, house? He would collect the original documents, get them mortgaged, and get a temporary registration with the registration department. This land belongs to so-and-so, but this person is making temporary registration. He'll create a document, they'll take it. Supposing if that person doesn't pay, he'll sell off this uh, property. That's how. So when I started writing, uh, there was a one big school correspondent who committed suicide. And the, uh, you know, if anybody doesn't uh, return his money and all, uh, Mohan Reddy will resort to all sorts of something like films. He'll go to the house of the borrower, take out his shirt, and he used to do all those nonsensical things. So one school correspondent committed suicide, who is well connected, but he also committed suicide. That time when I went to Karimnagar, I thought everybody would have written him. The next day I didn't see any news items there. And I came back and asked my bureau chief, even we also didn't write. That's how we started writing. And that fellow threatened me saying you that, you know, I'll go complain to your office, I'll take your end. This. All these things will happen. You'll have to bear with those such people. That could be from police officers, that could be from people like uh, other real estate people. Lot of those things will be there. See, it's not like uh, writing about fashion, films, and food. There is difference to crime reporting and writing about other uh, subjects. That threat will be there, but we should be prepared. I'm not saying I'm a big hero and all, but we should be prepared. Otherwise, I can't do that. I, I can't do justice to the subject, justice to my job, rather. And that is the general question whenever, you know, I have any interactive meeting or how do you face those challenges and it's all part of the job. I am not a hero. There are lots of other crime reporters who have done wonderfully well, better than me also. So that will be there. You will be t risking your life in present situation if you try to meet uh, any Maoists or anything. I mean, you'll be, earlier we have done that. Now. The forces are so active, you know, the moment somebody goes into forest with a mobile or anything, they are tracking their mind, you know, you will be landed and it's a life-threatening situation. We are not doing that level of reporting, but still, that, that challenge will be there. Unfortunate trend in journalism is now, see, I personal. this is all my personal opinion because of my experience I am saying. I would prefer to analyze the situation and system before independence and after independence. Before independence, when any media organization was started or anybody entered into media running operations, general goal was the interest of the society, getting independence, awakening people. This was the goal. Now, if I am starting any media organization, it is purely profit motivated. How do you make profits? You have to sell your product. How will you sell your product? By resorting to sensationalism or siding with the people who are in power. So automatically things are going in wrong direction. What one news organization says is good is completely bad for the other newspaper. So you know better, and I don't want to take names. It's an unfortunate situation, but uh, that has crept into the system. So yesterday I wrote something about this left-wing Now they have 
in the past uh, 3 months two persons died and three others seriously injured because of ieds planted by maoists in forest area yesterday i wrote it couldn't get published today maybe it will get published it depends on the days developments also it depends on the days developments also but normally you find the, the issues which you have raised we have been covering maybe not to the extent of you expected me మీరు నోటీస్ చేసి ఉంటారు కదా ఇప్పుడు మణిపూర్లో దేశంలో ఉన్న కొన్ని రాష్ట్రాలలో ఏం పరిస్థితి ఉన్నదో యూనో పెట్టి ఇప్పుడు నేను అదే అంటున్నా ఆ చర్చలకు పోతే ఏమవుతుంది అంటే ఇప్పుడు మళ్ళీ ఆ పొలిటికల్ రెజ్యూమ్ గురించి మాట్లాడుకోవాల్సి వస్తుంది అది ఏమైతుంది కొన్ని ప్లే యో యు ఆర్ రైట్ ఇప్పుడు ఈవెన్ ఛత్తీస్గర్ ఇఫ్ వీ గో ఈవెన్ యూ ట్రై టు గో దేర్ యాజ్ అ స్టూడెంట్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ అలోయింగ్ దట్ రెజ్యూమ్ ఈజ్ దట్ ఈ దట్ ఈస్ ద బిగ్గెస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ బిగ్గెస్ట్ ఛాలెంజ్ ఐఎమ్ సేయింగ్ మణిపూర్లోకి వచ్చేసరికి ఇట్స్ అ పొలిటికల్లీ కనెక్టెడ్ ఇష్యూ నేను మీతో అనేది అదే అన్నట్టు ఇప్పుడు నేను వెన్ ఐ ఇంటరాక్టెడ్ విత్ ద పోలీస్ ఆఫీసర్స్ సార్ ఇది పంజాబ్ ఇష్యూ వచ్చినప్పుడు వై యునో రిసార్ట్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ ఎన్కౌంటర్స్ వాడెవరో టెర్రరిస్ట్ వచ్చి చంపితే హీఈస్ బియాండ్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ పోయి సిస్టమ్ మీద ఫైట్ చేస్తున్నాడు మీరు కూడా ఆ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ లోపల మీకు ఇచ్చిన సిస్టమ్స్ పవర్ను రూల్స్ను ఫాలో కాకుండా యు ఆర్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ అండ్ కిలింగ్ ద పీపుల్ అంటే వాట్ దట్ వన్ పోలీస్ ఆర్గ్యూ ఐఎమ్ టెలింగ్ యూ అబౌట్ దేర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ రామ్ ఒక టెర్రరిస్ట్ మేము తీసుకొచ్చి వీల్ అరెస్ట్ దెమ్ అండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ బిఫోర్ ద కోర్ట్ జడ్జెస్ ఆర్ నాట్ రెడీ టు పాస్ డైరెక్షన్ ఈవెన్ వెన్ వీ ప్రజెంట్ కాంక్రీట్ అండ్ కింగ్ క్లించింగ్ ఎవిడెన్స్ బిఫోర్ ద కోర్ట్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ రెడీ టు కన్విక్ట్ దెమ్ ద మూమెంట్ వీ అరెస్ట్ సంబడి they are writing letters to the judge or issuing warning letters threatening letters to the judge nobody is so we have reached a stage of no point point of no return so we will follow like this only this is how we could control and wala kind of that is where crime reporting lo che major conflict is that a system lo politic ipudu up lo pata kuda that lady burning case lo pata elthe somebody from tamil nadu southern states went there Uh, a police arrest says that man was put in jail for more than 2 months uh, how far is that correct nobody is writing about that also issues are definitely there that is why i find when youngsters are coming joining the office a uh, crime uh, sir mem crime reporting akunte edaina chestam sir that is the challenge uh, that is the situation i mean i'm telling you no ipudu uh, ratri oka pad daniki a crime reporting involves that but there are certain people section of people who love to be and i am the one who love to be a crime when i started doing ramitla inta kalam chestu you got married you have kids so you know you know i started enjoying that you know i said till the last date of my reporting i'll love to be a crime reporter that's how i personally feel i don't find you know that stress i am openly telling you that stress on those threats all those issues will be there but i have seen ante news papers lo patta a crime reports ku unna readership adi malli sports vaad tarvata danike ekku untadi even not political news is followed by many people adi undi that is there fortunately for six months back a police officer asked me to come to kashmir and i went there ikkada undi mana maatladukune danike akkada unde situation there is complete different see basically kashmir lo patta within kashmir jammu lopata it is the crpf crpf is a paramilitary force not military is completely working on there right so konni chotla lopata bsf valan post chesinappudu bsf vallu koncham aggressive unnaru ani cheppi now entire responsibility has been given to crpf jammu kashmir police local police will investigate the cases and all but entire security related to jammu especially kashmir is in the hands of crpf now military personnel are deployed wherever the crpf people will suggest ikkada maaku requirement and in uh, when it uh, comes to the question of kashmir it is the terrain what matters anata akada and uh, 95 98% of the population belong to a particular section so automatically meer cheppinaatu maaku journalists like everyki military intelligence దగ్గర నుంచి డైరెక్ట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఫ్లో వచ్చే సిచ్యువేషన్ లేదు అక్కడ టాప్ లెవెల్లో పట్ట డిఫెన్స్ మినిస్ట్రీ వాళ్ళు ఎవరైనా అన్లెస్ దే షేర్ దోస్ డీటెయిల్స్ నార్మల్లీ ఫర్ అన్ ఆర్డినరీ రిపోర్టర్ లైక్ మీద ఐ కాన్ గో అండ్ గెట్ ద సెన్సిటివ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఆర్ సెన్సిటివ్ డీటెయిల్స్ వాట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నోటీస్ దేర్ ఈజ్ హ్యాండ్లింగ్ దట్ 
basic land order situation in Kashmir itself is a big challenge. I'm telling you, the security, I'm not, uh, you know, trying to present police in a positive manner, but I have seen, bring up, mana, mana, mana building is a concham, nothing, and concham, police wall like a kind of accommodation, yal and a guda, because uh, people are against the state, nobody wants. So, path of Padipoe buildings, so Akadikuna, what Lopatna, CRPF, Walu, it goda Guliputa and Tilsuda, and the Lopatna and Algorai Grundi, Chase, Chase, main junctions, Lopat, let us say Tarnaka junction. Yoka four or five case on the helmet, and the bulletproof, he arms, he limbs, limbs, and nipet conitla. Then the Osanaga helmet of the Chipetum is a such for the Manama, practice training like Kundaga and Betun of Gantar and Lake in the Burton. Two to hours, three three hours. La justu jestu undale. Bani midi itla ostaru takna grande distressil potaranthe. A situation lo pata mir jepina vanning ka jayalan da sala parisite le da karada. A terrain ei na adai na. I went to meet a commandant. A commandant to da garibe matlar thonte. Sadam sam they got some message and sir kurcho India je poka one hour tarada na kurcho bato one half hour tarada. Immediately, area lo pataro militant movement na thante veli poote me che, time me tirga time me che. They are risk risking their lives. If meer jeppi na twenty session yindu ko public che le do na thante, you know there are certain thante manam abhi chappale mo bai ta karna tha. A situation unda tha. And it is going to be even tough in the next coming years tha. As of now, it's fine, but it is going to be very tough. It's because of the terrain. It's because of the terrain. Ankaramayana job akada jeta matram challenging situation, whether it is reporting or you know working for CRP or for military. That's altogether a different platform, Kashmir. I would say. Otherwise, I would not be able to answer your question. I'm able to answer at least to this extent. Court to kiltam gada. Court lo pata andar edo jeptar akada nyayasthana lo jan peer varda biggest corruption is in that court. I've noticed that. I can get some works done with by the police without spending a single price. Court lo pada boy manam order so manam mana favor lo chena order kaapi this call anta gora. And there is a system established system. Adi boy je. Kuni chotla ne mo bribe je si information this ko na rose lo nai. There is no other way. Kuni saal lo kuni saal. Adi I am doing that for the sake of securing information with that. You know, adi mind lo bet kon a commitment thodi na panjesh thuna. There are some people disgruntled le ni mar the elements se information ister. Police department lo, for example, since we are talking about crime reporting, Ram adi gachboli case zushna wante ime na thay vad zushna wa monda ko case lo vada moolak shal dis kuni atla jabta. Hindu jabta de video dem sathya richandro de gaar. This fellow could not get those three lakhs. He'll say, "Ah, case lo pata valan tar." He na kuch opportunities he'll also do. So when you develop sources, you have to identify them. Why they are parting with information? What is their motive? Is it purely? But as a journalist, me ra na place lo na run kuch. Me duty endi gathering information. So we indulge in a conversation lo pata involve. We develop just kuntu bota ma source nu. At a point, when you, he starts trusting you, he'll automatically give in. For example, if a Banjarail's gang rape case, that officer would not have told me unless, because I have interacted with him earlier. This man is okay, but I have to tell him that he is okay. But I have to tell him that he is okay. I would have missed that story. And I haven't, I haven't told him that he is okay. I haven't told him that he is okay. I haven't told him that he is okay. Chala cases lo pata, a information flow atla ochinda na ata. Kunni emo mana human judgment runda. Naran gora lo pata that school building collapsed. Naran gora gada, I'll tell you. Ipur ideal factor nu gada. Ipur da ni emo anto no pair changes na mana explosives, gelatin sticks abhi tayar es tarade. Starting jablo jai na na third year lo pata ne. Sadan night nine o'clock that information. Blast jarigi hindi. A gelatin sticks making company lo pat. We rushed their police unaro chikati muttamu. Nobody was allowed inside and all. Telavari, ah, roz we waited till midnight, one, two o'clock. Telavari, malli velli chusi cheshte. Andar to matar nu, death person chani pe na wale details. Three, four persons limps dorkal le du, heads dorkal chala. 
భయంకరమైన ప్లాస్ సో మాట్లాడుతూ ఉంటే సార్ మా ఫాదర్ కూడా డ్యూటీకి వచ్చిండు లాక్ బుక్ లోపట ఉన్నది బాడీ లేదు అనే అందరూ రిపోర్టర్ల మే అందరం రిపోర్టర్ల మే వెళ్ళినాం చేసినాం ఐ రిమెంబర్ దాట్ ఇది ఏంది బాడీ వచ్చి లాక్ నిజంగా కూడా బాడీ దొరకదు హీ వాజ్ బ్లోన్ ఇన్ టు పీసెస్ దొరకలేదు దొరకలేదు కానీ రిపోర్టర్స్ ఏంటని మిస్ అయిపోయినాం ఆ పాయింట్ నేను ఒక వన్ వీక్ టెన్ డేస్ తర్వాత తెలిస్తే అరే ఆ బాడీది ఏమైంది అని తెలిస్తే ఇంకా దొరకలేదు దొరకలేదు అని ఆబ్వియస్లీ హీ డైన్ బాడీ పార్ట్స్ ఏం దొరకలేదు అక్కడ వాళ్ళ ఇంటికి వెళ్ళినా నేను జస్ట్ టాక్ టు దెమ్ వెళ్ళి మాట్లాడితే లేదు సార్ ఇంకా దట్ కేమ్ అవుట్ యాజ్ అన్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ హ్యూమన్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ స్టోరీ అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఆ కేసులో పట్ట మీ ఐ డోంట్ నో మీకు లాలో ఒక సిచ్యువేషన్ తెలుస్తుందో లేదు ఇప్పుడు మిగతా వాళ్ళందరికీ కంపెన్సేషన్ వచ్చింది ఆ ఫా ఫ్యామిలీకి ఎవరిదైతే బాడీ దొరికి యునో వై హీ వాజ్ నాట్ గివ్ దట్ ఫ్యామిలీ వాజ్ నాట్ గివెన్ కంపెన్సేషన్ ఐడియా ఉందా మీకు ఒక లా లోపట ఒక సిస్టమ్ ఏందంటే ఐ ఫాగాట్ దట్ లాటిన్ టర్మ్ కార్పస్ డెలిక్టే అని అంటాం అన్లెస్ దెర్ ఈస్ సమ్ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బాడీ ఆఫ్ ఎవిడెన్స్ యూ కాన్ సే క్రైమ్ హ్యాస్ టేకెన్ ప్లేస్ ఇప్పుడు మనిషి బ్రతికున్నాడు వచ్చినాడు డ్యూటీ అటెండ్ చేసినాడు లాక్ బుక్ లోపట దెర్ ఈస్ ఎవిడెన్స్ దట్ యూనో హీ హ్యాస్ ఎంటర్డ్ ద ఫ్యాక్టరీ బ్లాస్ట్ జరిగిపోయింది మనిషికి టీ దాటడానికి బయటకు పోయిండు ఏమో బయటకు పోయి బైక్ ఎక్కేసి అదే ఊరికి పోయిండు కావచ్చు ఎట్లా చెప్తాను దొరకలేదు కదా లాలో ఒక సిస్టమ్ ఏంటంటే అన్లెస్ ఆ మనిషి బాడీకి ఏం దొరకనప్పుడు హీఈస్ నాట్ డెడ్ యాజ్ పర్ ద లా వీ హ్యావ్ టు వెయిట్ ఫర్ సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ ఆ సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ గ్యాప్ ఉంది లాలో పట్టు సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ టైం తర్వాత కూడా ఎవ్వరు ఏం ఎవిడెన్స్ లేకపోతే దట్ మ్యాన్ ఈస్ ప్రెసెంట్ డెడ్ ఐ రోడ్ దట్ రిపోర్ట్ అప్పుడు పెద్ద హడావుడు హడావుడు నిజంగా కూడా యూ విల్ గెట్ దోస్ హ్యూమన్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ స్టోరీస్ అవి అవి మనం తిరుగుతుంటే ఫీల్డ్ లోపల యూ విల్ కమ్ అక్రాస్ సచ్ కేసెస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ దట్ ఐ విల్ సిట్ ఎట్ సమ్ ప్లేస్ ఆ క్యూరియాసిటీ తోటి యూ విల్ అల్ ఐ టెల్ యూ సింపుల్ థింగ్స్ క్రైమ్ రిపోర్టింగ్ లోపల చాలా పెద్ద ఇవ్వాలి you know how many people die in road accidents in and around hyderabad and an average every entha man janapotharu anukuntaru meer road accident 1200 to 1600 people die in the three commissionerates in road accidents per, 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 per year 1600 people dying in road accidents is a big figure for me for a person manam aalochinchatlem gaani 1600 families get affected every year if somebody dies in a family in a road accident you imagine the trauma adu etla untadu valla family and who is responsible for this me you tell me as a student me who do you think is responsible aa okka subject meeda meer oka one year stories raayach if you are interested there is another area of crime reporting i am telling you cyberabad lo patta average 100 120 people vile bani nadipoy jari padatamu chettu gudukon sachi potharu every year then i analyzed those accident i said aa 120 a category lo betalanu vallu స్కిడింగ్ చేసి చనిపోవడం సార్ అంటే రామ్ నీకు ఏం చెప్పాలి మందు తాగి ఇప్పుడు ఎవరి తప్పు లేదు టూ వీలర్ మీద పోయి చెట్టును కుద్దేసుకొని చనిపోయినా ఇన్ని కేసులు ఉన్నాయి హౌ అది అక్కడ ఇండివిజువల్స్ అది ఒక స్టోరీ యాజ్ అ జర్నలిస్ట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ గ్యాదర్ దోస్ కేసెస్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఈచ్ కేస్ దట్ మేక్స్ అన్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ సీన్ ఇన్ తార్నాక ఏదో వెహికల్స్ పక్కన ఆపి పెద్ద నీకు ఎన్ని చలాన్స్ ఉన్నాయి ఓ పెద్ద ఐదు ఆరుగురు నిల్చోని పెద్ద ఆపేసి ఓ చేస్తుంటారు ఐ హ్యావ్ అన్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ విత్ ట్రాఫిక్ పోలీస్ ఆ రోడ్ యాక్సిడెంట్ కంట్రోల్ చేయడానికి ఏం లేదు కానీ ఆ పోయి ఎన్ని చలాన్లు ఉన్నాయో పెద్ద ఆపేది పెద్ద మహాకార్యం చేసినట్టు చేస్తుంది ఐ ఐ డిఫర్ విత్ ట్రాఫిక్ వాళ్ళేమో నాకు ఏదో కౌంటర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ నీకు తెలియదు అట్లా బట్ మై పాయింట్ ఈజ్ వెన్ యూ ఆర్ సో ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ కలెక్టింగ్ చలాన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ యూ మస్ట్ బీ ఈక్వల్లీ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ టు బ్రింగ్ డౌన్ ద డెత్స్ ఇన్ రోడ్ యాక్సిడెంట్స్ కదా విచ్ ఈస్ నాట్ ట్వెల్వ్ హండ్రెడ్ టు సిక్స్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ ఐ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ అబౌట్ డెత్స్ టెన్ థౌజండ్స్ యావరేజ్ కంటే కాళ్ళు చేతులు విరిగి పర్మనెంట్ డిజబిలిటీ వచ్చేవాళ్ళు టెన్ టు ట్వెల్వ్ థౌజండ్ కేసెస్ ఉంటాయి యూ ఇమాజిన్ హౌ బిగ్ దట్ నెంబర్ ఈజ్ స్కూల్ వ్యాన్లు రిటర్న్ తీసేటప్పుడు పిల్లలు దిగినప్పుడు చూడకుండా వెనక్కి రివర్స్ రివర్స్ తీసిన కేసులో అప్పుడు బోల్డ్ అంత పిల్లలు తెచ్చి ఇంత ఇంత పిల్లలు చనిపోయింది హూ ఈస్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ దట్ అదే మీరు ఇంకా నోటీస్ చేస్తున్నారా బిల్డింగ్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ లోపట సంప్స్ బిల్డప్ చేస్తారు మూత పెట్టకపోతే సంపులలో పెట్టి అది ఎంత దారుణం అంటే అవి కొన్ని కొన్ని యూ ఇమాజిన్ సంప్స్ లో పట్టబడి పిల్లలు చనిపోవడం హూ ఈస్ రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ దట్ మీరు చెప్పిన సబ్జెక్ట్లో పాయింట్ ఏంటంటే పెద్ద స్టోరీ ఏంది అ
vehicles, accidents at that time. Land order, you know the difference between traffic police and land order. E traffic police are land order police, Usman University police station. Accident at death time in a case of wall registration, GSC, wall investigation. Yes, sir. License each day more transport department. Wall is there. Vehicle may order in the roads, they say, or roads and buildings department. Yes, sir. And but who is responsible? Where is the coordinated concert effort to ensure so many people don't lose lives? And I personally feel, particularly a road accident, low pata jarigi death sunny. We are all responsible. The entire system is responsible for that. That's my uh, feeling. So, bold and the effort is done. But crime reporting, lo pata road accidents itself is a big subject. A whole number of issues are there. Biggest system in our. I'll tell you. Ante system lo pata unna legal lakune mamulga administration of criminal justice law system lo kuda mana daggara india lo unna system lo patta chaala pora patlu loopholes unnai i'll tell you example ipudu nene vera valla peru endu nene edo chit funds business ho lekapothe something double meeku job ippistane edo i'll collect from each of 1 lakh or 10 lakh rupees oka 1 crore ee 1 crore nenu cash intlo pettukokunde em chestha ante పక్కన ఏపీకో లేకపోతే ఇంకా తమిళనాడులోకి పోయి ఒక చోట ఒక విల్లా గోవాలో ఒకటి ఒక ట్వంటీ ల్యాక్స్ తోటి ఒక చోట అవన్నీ పెట్టి చేస్తాను ఇప్పుడు ఉన్న లాస్ లోపట అట్లా మోసం చేసి డబ్బులు సంపాదించేమన్నా రియల్ ఎస్టేట్ లోపట ఇన్వెస్ట్ చేస్తే ఏం చేయరాదు అన్నట్టు అన్నాను నేను ఏమంటే మళ్ళీ పోలీసు వాళ్ళు వచ్చి మీరు కంప్లైంట్ ఇస్తారు కేసు రిజిస్టర్ అయ్యి ఐ విల్ సే లేదు సార్ అవి డబ్బులు అవి కొట్టి చోట్ల కొంతమంది దగ్గర తీసుకున్నా ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ దట్ మనీ నవ్ నా దగ్గర లేవు సార్ అంటే అరెస్ట్ చేస్తారు జైలు you what about this a property is bought with the money which i have collected from you ipudu criminal procedure ko ipudu you have reason you must have heard about the amendment of uh, criminal laws ipc crpc indian evidence act lo chestunnaru ipudu crpc lo oka kotta procedure em pettinar anante if anybody purchases properties by the money collected from che by cheating others that property can be seized auctioned off and the proceeds of the crime crime udwara sampandinchina dabbu nu seize chesi malli victims ki distribute cheyochu ante daniki final details unnai but a separate section has been brought into the criminal procedure code so atla ee lack le nu use chesesukuni meeku telusu kada government officials acp vallu ikkada properties kontenemo identify chestaru kada pakka states lo poi kodadu ante teli okokkadu teli okoko teli untadu adi పోయి మధ్యప్రదేశ్లో గోవాలో అక్కడ పోయి ప్రాపర్టీ దుబాయ్లో పెట్టి ప్రాపర్టీ ఎవరికి తెలుస్తుంది ఈ ఇక్కడ ఉన్న ఏసీబీ వాళ్ళ కానీ దుబాయ్లో ప్రాపర్టీ ఉన్నది ఎక్కడ తెలుసు ఈ సిస్టమ్ లోపల ఉన్న ల్యాక్నే ఉన్నది ఇప్పుడు మీరు చెప్పిన దాంట్లో పట్ట ఫ్యామిలీ లోపట ఏదైనా ఇప్పుడు సపోజ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దట్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ బాలకృష్ణ అలీజెడ్లీ ఫైరింగ్ ఇప్పుడు మనం ఫైరింగ్ అంటే నువ్వు ఎట్లా అంటావు రామని అంటారు అలీజెడ్లీ ఫైరింగ్ ఇప్పుడు ఎవరు ఫైర్ చేసింది రాబా యునో ఆయన ఫైర్ చేసి అంత ఎవ్రీబడీ నోస్ ఇట్ అల్టిమేట్గా కేసు లోపల ఆర్డర్ ఏమొచ్చింది అని అంటే ఇప్పుడు అల్టిమేట్గా ఏం జరిగిందంటే ఆ రోజు గొడవ జరుగుతుంటే చాలామంది ఫ్యాన్స్ వచ్చిండ్రు అందులో నుంచి ఎవరు ఫైర్ చేసినా మాకు తెలియదు అని అంటాడు ఎవరికైతే బుల్లెట్ దెబ్బ తాకిందో ఇంజూర్ అయినా ఫస్ట్ పోలీస్ ముందర హీ సెడ్ ఆయనే ఫలానా ఫైర్ ఆర్మ్స్ తోటి షూట్ చేసిండ్రు అని అంటాడు వాట్ టు డూ యూ టెల్ మీ దట్ ఈస్ హౌ ద సిస్టంలో ఉన్న ల్యాక్నే అది అది ఆ సిస్టమ్ లోపల మన దగ్గర అట్లా వాట్ ఎవర్ ఫర్ వేరియస్ రీజన్స్ మేబీ ఇట్ ఈస్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ జ్యుడిషియల్ జ్యుడిషియరీ జ్యూరిస్పిడెన్స్ దట్ అదేదో చెప్తారు కదా వంద మంది దోషులు తప్పించుకున్నా పర్లేదు ఒక సంథింగ్ అవన్నీ పెట్టి నాశనం చేస్తున్నారు సిస్టమ్ అయితే ఈ సిస్టమ్ లోపల ఒకటి ఏముందంటే ఇండివిజువల్ ఆఫీసర్స్ వెన్ దే ఆర్ కరప్ట్ ఆర్ మీరు ఎంత సిస్టమ్స్ అయినా చేయండి ఇప్పుడు ఆ రోడ్ యాక్సిడెంట్ కేసు నేను ఈ సార్ మీరు చెప్పిన పాయింట్కు ఐ కంపేర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ బి ద ఫుల్ ప్రూఫ్ సిస్టమ్ యూ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ if one person in the system acts smart or you know indulges in corruption entire effort will go waste and now ipudu suicide case e undi akada manaku telisi ee evidence unnada akada mobile phone avu maatladindi edo undi i erase chesindan ko akada unnay ana basic evidence is gone ee inga balakrishna case is the classic example of that but i want to tell you the other side of the uh, picture మీరు గమనించండి దేర్ ఆర్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ అన్సాల్వ్డ్ కేసెస్ ఈవెన్ నౌ మన వీఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ సో మచ్ టెక్నాలజీ 
ఎన్కోని అంటే ఇది దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ అన్నట్టు ఈవెన్ ఇన్ వెస్ట్రన్ కంట్రీస్ ఆల్సో అన్సాల్వ్డ్ కేసెస్ చాలా ఉన్నాయి ఇట్స్ నాట్ దట్ యు నో బికాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ బికాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ ట్రైన్డ్ పోలీస్ ఆఫీసర్స్ ఫోరెన్సిక్ డాక్స్ నాట్ ఆల్ ద కేసెస్ ఆర్ సాల్వ్డ్ స్టిల్ దెర్ ఆర్ మిస్టీరియస్ కేసెస్ ఎందుకు అని అంటే కొన్ని కేసెస్ మేబీ ద అఫెండర్స్ ఆర్ స్మార్ట్ మేబీ దే ఆర్ దట్ ఎవిడెన్స్ హ్యాస్ మిస్డ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ పోలీస్ రీచింగ్ ద స్పాట్ లేటర్ ఫర్ వేరియస్ రీజన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ అగైన్ అ డిఫరెంట్ సబ్జెక్ట్ దేర్ క్రైమ్ రిపోర్టర్ ప్లేస్ అ మేజర్ రోల్ అంటే వీ హ్యావ్ టేకెన్ అప్ సమ్ కేసెస్ ఇన్ ద లోపట అఫెన్స్ వాజ్ నెవర్ క్రాక్డ్ అనేవి కొన్ని కేసెస్ రాసినాయి ఇప్పటికీ దేర్ ఆర్ లాట్స్ ఆఫ్ కేసెస్ ఇఫ్ ఎవరైనా ఇండివిజువల్గా వర్క్ చేయదలుచుకుంటే ఆ సబ్జెక్ట్ మీద స్కై ఈజ్ ద లిమిట్ మీద అన్ని కేసెస్ ఉన్నాయి అట్లా బోలడని ఉన్నాయి అవి దాంట్లో పట టెలింగ్ యూ ద స్కోప్ ఫర్ క్రైమ్ రిపోర్టింగ్ అది మ్యాసివ్ అది అది నేను ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎనఫ్ మెటీరియల్ ఫర్ అనదర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇయర్స్ రాయదలుచుకుంటే సో అంత మెటీరియల్ ఉంది ఆ సబ్జెక్ట్ లోపట సి జర్నలిజం ఈజ్ నో మోర్ వాట్ ఇట్ యూస్ టు బీ టూ త్రీ డికేట్స్ బ్యాక్ రైట్ రైట్ సో నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ సి ఇఫ్ యూ రియల్లీ హ్యావ్ ప్రాపర్ ఎవిడెన్స్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ డేటా విత్ యూ యూ కెన్ యాజ్ వెల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ద కేస్ అండ్ ప్రెజెంట్ రిపోర్ట్ యాజ్ అ యూట్యూబర్ అండ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ద మూమెంట్ ఐ సై ఐ వాంట్ టు డూ బికమ్ అ యూట్యూబర్ ద బేసిక్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ థింగ్ రైట్ బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ యూ నీడ్ సి యూ నీడ్ నాట్ బై అ కెమెరా అండ్ ఆల్ ఇప్పుడు నా యూ కెమెరాస్ ఆల్ అవైలబుల్ ఆన్ రెంట్ ఎడిటింగ్ పర్సన్స్ ఎడిటింగ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో రెడీ ఈవెన్ యాంక్ యూ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ కెన్ హైర్ అన్ యాంకర్ అండ్ యూ నో మేక్ సంబడి టాక్ ఆన్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ కాకపోతే ఇప్పుడు ఈ క్రైమ్ రిపోర్టింగ్కి వచ్చేసరికి ఏమైంది అండ్ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ నోటీస్డ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ యాంకర్స్ ఆర్ రీక్రియేటింగ్ ద క్రైమ్స్ అవి చేసి ఏదో కొంచెం హడావుడిగా మాట్లాడుతుంటారు కదా కొంతమంది ఎట్లా జరిగింది అట్లా జరిగింది సో అది దట్ రిక్వైర్స్ సమ్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ సో అది కాకుండా వన్ వే ఆఫ్ డూయింగ్ థింగ్స్ ఈజ్ బికమింగ్ అ యూట్యూబర్ ఆర్ యు నో యూ కెన్ టేక్ అప్ అ కేస్ ఇప్పుడు సపోజ్ రోడ్ యాక్సిడెంట్స్ ఇష్యూ ఉంది గ్యాదరింగ్ డేటా ఈజ్ అనేదర్ బిగ్ ఛాలెంజ్ బట్ దీస్ డేస్ నేషనల్ క్రైమ్ రికార్డ్స్ బ్యూరో ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ కమ్ కమ్స్ అవుట్ విత్ హ్యూజ్ వాల్యూమ్స్ ఆఫ్ క్రైమ్ డేటా స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ యూ కెన్ యూజ్ ద డేటా analyze the crime and present your report you can you know as well build a website these days building up a website is all not a bit if you have those technical koncha madhe unte you build a website for yourself you start writing on that but uh, of late which i have noticed is more than i would prefer to write but these days voluminous reports kante nenu takva time lo patta koncham video content bet if i can present facts in a proper fashion no automatically you will get matter me subscription when people start listening to you or people start watching you that's how you can do that is another that is the biggest in thing now for me but oka uh, newspaper ki sirin newspapers lo patta options thagi pen working for a website is a big uh, you know you have more opportunities there the challenges again some of my friends who were there with me when most of them are shifting to websites now each person is doing at his own level konni organizations kuda individual websites val start chestu even all the mainstream newspapers have their own website you must have noticed that so i can't be able to you know beat a mainstream newspapers website but it by come out with proper content and interesting data or story definitely people will read that much i can say challenge is yes uh, if it is a video related thing you need to invest to those basic level of money gathering information newspaper lo pata crime beater ante sir meer emana cheppun sir vere municipality cover chesa sir nen crime beater that is that i mean i can't help it and it is really becoming difficult for us to find people who are interested in reporting crime that is there సిచ్యువేషన్ అట్లా ఉంది అంటున్నా ఇక ఛాలెంజ్ చేస్తుంటే ఐ జస్ టోల్డ్ యూ ఆ రిస్క్ ఎలిమెంట్ మోర్ దాన్ ఛాలెంజ్ అండ్ రిస్క్ దిస్ స్ట్రెస్ సి హైదరాబాద్ హ్యాస్ బికమ్ అ బిగ్స్ సో బిగ్ అ సిటీ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు గో దాన్ని చెప్పినట్టు క్రైమ్ స్పాట్కి వెళ్ళి రిపోర్ట్ ఎల్బీ నగర్లో ఉన్నది చేసేటంటే మనం బైక్ వేసుకొని ఎల్బీ నగర్కి పోయి వచ్చేసరికి జీవితం మీద విసుగు వచ్చేస్తుంది నాకు నేను ఐఎమ్ టెలింగ్ యూ ద ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఫీల్డ్ లెవెల్ ఇబ్బందులు అవి ఉన్నాయి అవి 
otherwise what you can do do is select some major crimes say for example i refer to you about that adilabad woman case where she was gang raped and murdered nobody focused on that case eventually they were given life imprisonment go and talk to the family of that woman that makes an interesting human interesting story or identify unsolved murder cases but the challenge here is who will give you information you make use of right to information act definitely if not immediately one day or the one point of time government has to respond that ఆ ఇంక్వై ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ తీసుకుని దాని మీద వర్క్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది ఇట్స్ నాట్ లైక్ పొలిటికల్ రిపోర్టింగ్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ కాంటాక్ట్స్ ఎవరో ఒకరు చిన్న స్కామ్ గురించి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇస్తే అది రాసి పెట్టేయటం అది కాదు ఈ క్రైమ్ రిపోర్టింగ్ లోపల ఉన్న బిగ్గెస్ట్ ఛాలెంజెస్ గ్యాదరింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఈజ్ ఐఎమ్ టెలింగ్ ఇట్స్ అ బిగ్ ఛాల బిగ్గెస్ట్ ఛాలెంజ్ రాదర్ అండ్ విత్ స్టాండింగ్ ద ప్రెషర్ అండ్ దోస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ వీల్డ్ థ్రెడ్స్ ఓపెన్ థ్రెడ్స్ దెర్ ఆర్ major three criminal laws indian penal code criminal procedure code indian evidence act they have been renamed as bharatiya nyaya samhita bharatiya nagarika suraksha samhita bharatiya saksha adini aa perlu vintane bayam estunnadu subject artham chesukotam kada sir dani meeda kuda there was criticism but reasonably good changes have been introduced in the new laws for example ఇండియన్ పీనల్ కోడ్ లోపట మీరు హ్యావ్ యూ యూ మస్ట్ హ్యావ్ నోటీస్ ఎర్లియర్ మాబ్ లించింగ్ కేసెస్ రిపోర్ట్ అయినాయి అంటే రిలీజియన్ బేస్ మీద ఏదో ఒక అడవలు ఏదో గొడవ జరు పోయి ఎగబడి జనాలను కొట్టి చంపేసిన కేసు ఉన్నాయి ఆ మాబ్ లించింగ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డిఫైన్డ్ సెపరేట్లీ ఇన్ అ సెక్షన్ నౌ స్పెసిఫిక్ కొంచెం సీరియస్ పనిష్మెంట్ ఇచ్చినారు దానికి మాబ్ లించింగ్ సిమిలర్లీ టెర్రరిజం హ్యాస్ బీన్ డిఫైన్డ్ ఇన్ అవరీ ఎర్లియర్ సపోజింగ్లీ ఎ పర్సన్ anybody that can be anybody who indulged in terrorist activities for example say he planted a bomb or he shot down people he gunned down people em chestha ma murder case kindane betu it's a terror act but you didn't have a separate section which specifically defines terrorism and punishes people for do indulging in that act now terrorism i have noted down some notes of correct i am unable to recollect the section number terrorism has been separately defined terrorism definition includes now but normally the moment we say terrorism man general ga remember bomb blast lo avivi attacks adi dane anukuntam but uh, attempts have been made different terror ma- terrorist modules and terror groups to destabilize indian economy by circulating counterfeit currencies fake notes with there is a big racket organized effort to to do that ante pakistan isi agents base meeda vidi cheseskoni huge volumes of fake currency ante you will not be able to identify the genuine one counterfeit currency in india lo ki circulate cheyatam anedi now this part this action of uh, attempting to destabilize indian economy is also defined as part of terrorism so itla కొన్ని మేజర్ అచ్చా మళ్ళీ కొన్ని అఫెన్సెస్ని సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ హ్యాస్ యూ నో యు నో దట్ అన్నాచురల్ అఫెన్సెస్ అడల్ట్రీ దే హ్యావ్ సర్టెన్ సెక్షన్స్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ డిలేటెడ్ ఇండియన్ పీనల్ కోడ్లో కూడా దేర్ వర్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ లెవెన్ సెక్షన్స్ నౌ దే హ్యావ్ బీన్ రిడ్యూస్ టు త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎయిట్ సో చేంజెస్ ఇండియన్ ఎవిడెన్స్ యాక్ట్ లోపల తీసుకొచ్చిన ఒక మేజర్ చేంజ్ ఈజ్ ఇట్స్ అ రియల్లీ గుడ్ థింగ్ అండ్ పీపుల్ ఐ వాంట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ టు నో అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఎర్లియర్ డాక్యుమెంట్ అంటే డాక్యుమెంట్ అంటే ఫిజికల్ పేపర్ ఏదైనా ఎనీ ఎగ్జిబిట్ విత్ paper paper form lo unna evidence document anedi now they have redefined the document now a document can be even an electronic communication like email message voice message log records server details can also be treated as a document so because of cyber crimes and people using modern gadgets ఐటి టూల్స్ ఇవన్నిటిని యూజ్ చేసి అఫెన్స్ చేసేటప్పుడు డాక్యుమెంట్ అంటే ఓన్లీ పేపర్ ఫామ్లో ఉండదు కానీ దే హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్పాండెడ్ ద డెఫినేషన్ నౌ ఆల్ దిస్ కెన్ బీ ట్రీటెడ్ ఐజ్ అన్ ఎవిడెన్స్ టెలిఫోన్ కాల్ రికార్డ్ కాల్ డేటా రికార్డ్ ఆల్ దిస్ కెన్ బీ ఇటెడ్ క్రిమినల్ ప్రొసీజర్ కోడ్లో పట్టి దే హ్యావ్ మేడ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ చేంజెస్ నౌ యూనో ఎర్లియర్ లాగా ప్రతి సపోజింగ్లీ ఇవాళ కేసు ఉన్నది క్రిమినల్ కేసు ఉన్నది అప్పుడు సార్ నేను ఊరికి పోయినా ఒక టూ మంత్స్ తర్వాత ఇది అడ్జన్మెంట్ వ్యవస్థ చాలా ఎక్కువ అందుకే మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద కేసెస్ ఆర్ ట్రాక్ డౌన్ టు ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ టెన్ ఇయర్స్ ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్
they made it mandatory certain deadlines for each case for each procedure so sir 90 days slow pat aithe nemo charge sheet file cheyali judge cannot even judicial officers go on adjourning the case for any number of times only every adjournment ko specified reason jun chese trial complete cheyali lot of new changes have been introduced i am not saying these are revolutionary changes and make everything work in a wonderful manner you know sudden ga edo jaripothadan gaadu these changes were required for long time now they have introduced to some extent definitely that will be helpful a moodu criminal laws lo patta manchi changes introduce adu lekapothe chaala kashtam ayyadu true thank you sir thank you yeah yeah and thank you so much for this uh, wonderful session sir and as you promised us it won't be like an any guest lecture and you said that i hope and i'll make it is like an one to one conversation which is very much inevitable and uh, you had said many uh, discussed about many crucial crime issues and you uh, you showcase the things what goes behind the crime reporting and hope anyone from this class would take up crime reporting in the coming days and thanks for this session sir and we thank you thank you